Then for each week, what you'll see is this. You'll have a weekly folder. Click on that. Everything you need for this semester is in the folder. So the first thing you will see are these little videos that I'm making right now that are explaining the semester to you. Then next, you'll see the assignments for that week. So for the first week, I run it, you have extra days. You're running from the beginning of the semester, August 25th, first day of class, to the following, uh, not that next Sunday, but the, the Sunday after, September 3rd. And so within that time period, what I'm asking is that you watch this video. It's about an hour in length. It's really good series put out by the BBC and it's starting in North Africa, which is where we are starting in this class. And it's just giving you some general information about the Berber culture and about their art and their architecture. And so I'm going to ask that you simply take notes. These are not to be submitted to me, but I can tell you, you're going to have an essay question on the first test. And that part of the essay question asks about the Berber culture. So you need to know a little bit about the culture and a little bit about their art. And the art uh, can be architecture. They talk about different coins that were made. They talk about a couple of different gates for the cities. They talk about books in this video. So anything like that, we're considering art. And so what you need to do is just take down some notes about that so you can be familiar with that and you can refer back to it and make it a little bit easier preparing for your essay. And then you will see a couple of terms here. So if you don't know what these are, which I think probably most of you do, but if you don't know what they are, just Google them. You'll find a good definition. So Islam, Minaret, Mosque, the Quran. So if you don't know what those are, please look them up. Underneath this, you have these little PDF files that I put up here for you. Open one of these. Sometimes it sets it up so you have to click it twice. I'm sorry. Just does that sometimes. These are made by the Getty Museum. And these are terms like, you know what the word balance means? I know you know what the word balance means. But when you're writing about a piece of art and you want to talk about balance, how do you do that? So there are just some basic terms that give, it, uh, give you a definition really based on art. So it's going to help you with writing uh, and writing about various pieces of art throughout the semester. So there are two of them here. So please just look at them, read through them. Again, it's not to be memorized and that you have a test on them or anything. They're there for you to use. And then you are going to have a discussion board for the first week. The discussion board is simply introduce yourself. You're going to introduce yourself and write one thing that you learned from the video by Wednesday. So. I'm asking by October 30th, you watch this video, you take some notes, you introduce yourself, and then you post something about this video. Okay, so here I actually have a link in case you don't know how to post in Blackboard. You open this link and there's a video that shows you how to post in Blackboard and uh, in the discussion board. And then here on the bottom are the actual questions. So I am asking you to tell me your name, your major, what your career goal is, and something personal, such as like your favorite color, if you have a pet, something like that to help us remember who you are. And then write one thing that you learned or that you, you just found really interesting uh, about the video that you are to watch, The Lost Kingdoms of Africa. And then 
please answer to students, post on two students' posts by uh, Sunday at 11.59. And then you're just going to say like, hi, my name is, and then write a sentence or two back to them, uh, to him or her, and tell them, you know, like, hey, my favorite color is red also. Hey, I have a pet. Uh, you know, too. Something something along those lines. Because sometimes it gets very um, isolating being in these classes that are totally online. So it's good to reach out to one another like this and get to know one another a little bit more. So each week we set up like this. Now, I am actually going to exit the student preview so that I can show you a little bit more that is not available to you yet. So I'm going to go back to the assignments. Okay, so we're back here in assignments and now we're out of the student preview. So now you're seeing what I see and you'll see that I already have all the weeks built out for you. Each week will open Saturday at midnight. So if you wanna get a jump on the following week, you can actually start it on Sunday. So let me just quickly show you what it will look like. So each week when you go in, very similar to the first week, I list for you what you have to complete. So you have readings, you have a discussion board, and you have quizzes. Then you open this. The first folder here, this is the notes and the discussion boards. So quite a lot of notes I put up with videos. I try to be really you know comprehensive with all of this stuff timeline map okay so notes there are a lot of pictures in this so don't freak out too much and at the bottom then you have the discussion board so you can access the discussion board by clicking on this and opening it or you can access the discussion board over here by clicking on it and this is in the little video in the first week that I showed you. If you don't know how to um, go back here, if you don't know how to post on a discussion board again and you need some help, you click on this, you'll see, click through this, See how to post in a discussion board on, on Blackboard. Here, it's a video, it shows you how to do it. So each week when you open up, first week is kind of like just getting to know some general information. And then after that, each week you come and you click, you'll see two folders. One folder will have notes and a discussion board at the end of it that relates to the notes. The second folder, when you open it, that is either a reading assignment or a video to watch. And then you have a quiz. So you have this very short, I think it's a reading assignment, if I remember correctly. This one, yeah, it's not a video. So this is by Smart History. It's a great website that was created by CUNY. And so you're going to read this article. This is general information about African art. And you're going to click on this and you, you can begin the quiz. So you can actually have the article open while you're taking the quiz. You can refer back to the article as you take the quiz. Everything goes right in order with the article. Again, it's untimed and you may take it two times. But if I go out of it, then you've used one of your times up. If you really mess it up, just email me. I'll give you more times. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not supposed to be something that is really um, stressful to you. And then the second thing I have up here is, yes, uh, yeah, it's also an article um, about some of the very early art in the area. Sorry, I couldn't remember if it was a video or an article. 
And then there's a quiz that goes along with it. So that's pretty much what you do each week unless you have, oops, unless you have some other assignment that is due. So for example, well, on October 2nd to October 8th, you have a test. So I can go down to October 2nd to October 8th. When I click on this, you see it says complete test one. I open this, there's the test, okay? So when you come in, when this is open on that week, then you click on this test and you're gonna take the test. Actually, I would most likely have it like that. I like to have it very top, top and center so you don't miss it, okay? So that's about it. Your grades, you'll have a current running grade in this class. If you look at Blackboard, everything will be, I try very hard to have everything updated once a week. The majority of the, the majority of the quizzes are multiple choice questions. So when you finish the quiz, it grades it for you. You see your grade, it calculates it in, it gives you the grade that you have for the class. So there's no confusion there about grades. I think I have covered everything, but again, if you have any questions, any problems, any concerns, please reach out to me either through email or come to one of the office hours that I hold. Or if you want to Zoom and you can't make that office hour that I have on Tuesday, please let me know and I will find a time that we can meet. I promise. Uh, although most likely it would either have to be in the evening or Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I do not teach on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I teach Monday through Thursday every morning and then Monday and Tuesday evenings. So I am busy, um, but we will find a time to meet. Okay, so good luck. Please, again, let me know if you have accommodations so I can update uh, my system on your end, give you your time and a half or whatever that might be as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.